left the vibrator thing for a second, but just actually one thing I had in mind to ask you about with using a vibrator is um, pelvic floor slash vaginal health. And yeah. are they helpful for that? I know obviously they're for I mean, I think part of it, it, it's interesting because you're not allowed. So in America, you're not allowed to make health claims without science-based evidence stuff. So you'll see a lot of vague stuff in this wellness area, right? Like may help vaginal health. Well, right. What the hell does that mean? Right? right. Like but they, they purposely have to be vague. Otherwise the FDA will come in and be like, yeah. you're making false claims. Yeah. Right? So you kind of, you get these like support it's oh this supports it supports pelvic health you're right. like what the heck does that mean right? <laughs> right but it's because they purposely have to be vague or they didn't do this research or whatever else um so yeah like using a vibrator because it supports your vaginal health like to me i'm like that marketing probably just okay marketing. interesting all right all right you so use it use it for pleasure and don't use it for pleasure and that okay okay but, i mean the thing about sex is that the sex is really adult play Right. right. Like, like yes. it's legitimately what adults do to play. And once you start making it a chore, like when people are like, okay, how many times a week should I be having sex? And I'm like, yeah. I will not give you a number because you just turned it into a job. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, that's not fun. No. I, you I have to that. use a vibrator. That's not fun. Yeah. Right. So it's <laughs> yes. like, you're, you're making the play work and right. that's like, and then don't wonder where your, where your desire went. Right. right. Like, oh, right. you turned it into a job. That's why yeah. you don't desire that's it. That's why you don't desire it. Okay. Okay.